Good day, people. I'm going to show you how I use shout outs to create a nice little cool effect on my stream that's still personal and has a little bit of flair without having to use the clips. My personal opinion is I don't really like the clips, but everyone's each their own. So, this is what I do instead. So, if I shout someone out, what does it? It comes out in a nice blue, blue brown box. It pulls a profile picture, it pulls what game they're playing, it posts in chat, and then eventually it'll all fall, fall away and slide away. And then to finish that off, what it does, it also then posts in Discord, which you can't see. You know, as you know, you see, it's now posted that shout out in Discord. It said who shouted them out, who's been shouted out, and what the last thing playing, also with a link. So I'm going to show you how I set all this up so when you go to the link below the coffee link you'll you'll get two bits you get two files one's for streamer bot one's for obs in obs all you need to do is do tools source copy and load scene and then find the scene where you've downloaded it and it should import it straight away and that is how that's done if you don't have the source copy plugin i've been making recommend getting it i'll put the link below for that as well you'll also need the move source transition plugin i'll put that below but these are these are plugins you should have anyway honestly you should it's one of the most one of my most used plugins is the move source transition plugin so anyway then you're going to go over streamer bot and you will you will receive these two bits of these two these two bits of code One's called Mega Installer, and one's called Shout Shared. Now, to get this, you def if you didn't have the, um, the source copy function, you could use this to create all the scenes. You just go in and you press test, and it would create that scene for you. Likewise, you go into this one and press test, and it creates that scene for you. It should go down for them, but for some reason, I can't get that to work. So, you just go down individually. It's a bit of a fast, but if you had the move source, you wouldn't need to do this. The next thing is this. This is the trigger for it. Now, this may take some playing around with, but the thing I found to get to work for work is just going in and pressing test on each thing. So when you press test, you see it. it's moved in the block. That way you know it works. And then... After so many times, because everything's timed, it'll move back out. But then you have to do everything on that is OBS related. So this one, this one, this one, and these four. This code takes a screenshot. So you will put your screenshot, wherever you saved it, there. And it'll take a screenshot. This is if you want to set the Discord bit up. If you don't want to do this Discord bit, ignore this bit. Delete this bit. Do whatever you want. But well, that bit is just the base of the code. So just to recap really quickly, you get two bits of you get two files. One is got your scene on, which you load in using source copy load scene. Next one's got these two bits in, which you'll use to either A import everything by just going clicking on and pressing test, or using these and going in these and pressing test on each one of these. That'll get that to work. Then you need to go over to Discord. So we're going to go over to Discord really quickly and go to Edit Channel. And you get Integrations. And as you see, I've already got Webbook. But if you don't have Webbook, you press New Webbook and you press Copy Earl. So you copy this and I'm going to show you where to paste this. So you can minimize that. You paste this in here and you paste that on this line here. There will be a note for there, but it goes here. String webbook link. And it has to go in quote, quote, quote marks. Like that. So that's how it looks. So you just post it in. Boom. Done. Next thing is your file path. Now this will have to match how you've written it in the OBS raw. So as long as they're two match, you'll, you'll be golden and that will work. Now, considering all that works, you've seen that this is how it's set up. 
I will show you something I did with it. So I also added this. So I got a block a child point with my pop point we do and I type a name in here. So when you type a name in there, this is done by anybody with channel points, you can still shout them out. Only when you go over to Discord, then you will see that that shout out has been posted to Discord as well. And that is how it's done. So if you want to know how to set this up with a chat command, I want to show that really quickly. But I, I will, so you go commands and you do this. So you do one line shout out, one line SO. Depending on which one you use, if you do it the way I've done it there, See, I've done it here where I've done shout out and shout out. I've done SO, two different lines. It means if I do shout out or SO, they both work. Tie it to my command, put it in my group, and press OK. You will want to add it into its own um, queue as well system. So we'll show you that really quickly. Action settings. General. Actions queue. And you're trying to create a shout outs one. And it's a ticket to block in, call it shout outs, press add, we save, and then when you go to your you go to your action, you just add it to shout outs. And that is how it's done. It's really simple, really quick, really easy. Everything is there for you. So I know I breeze through that section really, really quickly, but I think the skills there are very basic and I didn't want to overload you with, well, you could do it this way, you could do it that way, or you could do it this way and just make the video drag on. I really want to keep this video quite short and under 10 minutes because I want to do another video, which will, will, will be just as long on how to edit it and how to make it suit my brand. So if you want to see that, Stick around because that will be the next video that comes. And if you do have any questions on what I've done today, comment below. I'll, I'll answer the comments. Or you can find me on the stream about Discord, which I will put a link to below, as always. I'll put the link to the two plugins you need below. I'll put my Twitch below. So that's www.twitch.tv forward slash Terrier Darts. You can find me on there. And I'll put my link to the Kofi where you can get these two bits of code from. Again, Kofi is just for me to track how popular it is. It, it's still on there for free, so don't worry about it. And until then, I will see you next time. We've got something big videos coming, so if you do subscribe, do subscribe because we've got some good big videos coming. Until next time, bye.